All right, so there's a perfectly rational explanation for why I'm lying on the couch doing this, and I will get to that in a moment. So first I want to say thank you all for subscribing to my channel, for watching this video, for liking it, commenting on it, whatever the case may be. Anyone who has interacted with this channel in the past year and some time has helped me get to this point, so thank you a lot for that. I couldn't have done it by myself, obviously, because I can't subscribe to my own channel 206 times. <laughs> that would be preposterous, but um, I'm having a hard time holding my camera, I'm sorry. But uh, what I want to do today is kind of just talk about the, um, the direction my channel has gone in over the past year, as well as where it's possibly going to continue to go in the future and that sort of thing. So first off, I started doing gaming videos about a year ago. I believe my first three videos were about Tomb Raider Dagger of Zhan, which is a remake of Tomb Raider 2 by Nico Bass, and you can find him on Twitter, you can download the demo, try it out. Um, it's The series I did there was kind of funny because I restarted, or no, sorry, not, thought twice that I'd reached the end of it when it turned out there was actually more. So that's just me not seeing things in the levels that, you know, maybe other people saw and I just assumed, oh, well, there's a dead end, that, that must be it. <laughs> so anyway, it's kind of funny. Um, it, I didn't have any editing software at the time, so if you want to see like raw, unfiltered Moiri, then go see that. You'll probably have a laugh. I was thinking about doing a reaction video to one of those at some point, but I think I'm probably just going to cringe to death, so I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, as for where it went from there, I kind of did Portal, I did Portal 2 co-op, I did Dishonored, um, you know, I kind of did a lot of different games, maybe not a lot, but I did a few different games, and gaming didn't really take off for me on YouTube, I've had more success as a streamer, I found Twitch to be oddly the most welcoming platform, even though it's been kind of a slow build, but I did hit affiliate back in early September, late August, so it's been going well. Um, I guess to kind of celebrate the 200 subs, I should probably do something fun. So I have this Q&A that's been sitting in my Twitter for a very, very long time. I'm so sorry to Lugs Games for not getting to this sooner, but I've had a lot going on and it's been difficult. I'm also not really sure about his question because I feel like answering it would reveal too much about me, but I'm gonna try and avoid going too far into that. So he asked me, um, how did I come by my name, Moiri? Well, <laughs> so basically, um, without saying why, I found the name on this website. I believe it was behindthename.com, and I kind of looked at it, and I was like, oh, well, I like the way it sounds. It's different. Um, you know, it's, it speaks to me in some way. Um, obviously, I'm not from the Isle of Man where that comes from, which is, I think that's in the UK. Um, I believe it's pronounced Moiri, but I could be wrong. There are pronunciation guides online, so you can always look that up if you think that I'm being an idiot and possibly getting it wrong. But that's one of the things I didn't consider when I chose the name, is that possibly people would say it weird, and a lot of people do. So no offense taken if anyone gets it wrong. A lot of people do get it right, or at least what I approximate to be right. <laughs> um, again, that's based on what I think I know, which may not be correct. So moving on to the next question from Painless Suffering, um, what is your favorite mythological monster? I don't know that I really have one. I kind of did a little bit of research. I want to say a little, I mean very little, so I'm just going to say that possibly two options for this would be Cthulhu, and I don't know if Cthulhu is how you say it. I feel like based on what I've heard that that might not be correct, but Cthulhu cloth is pretty neat, um, and so is Kamazots, which is basically a giant bat, kind of like a demon, um, crazy looking thing, basically just pure evil and lives to torment other people. This Q&A kind of came in back in, I think it was October, late October, so I'm really far behind, but um, the reason I'm mentioning that is because Cloak asked me, well, since it's near Halloween, have you visited any haunted places? If so, which was your favorite? Um, 
I don't really believe in ghosts, to be honest with you. I've never seen one, or if you don't see them, experienced one. But I did go to a haunted house in my hometown. I'm not going to say where that is. I can't tell you what the name of the house was because I don't remember. But I didn't feel like it was haunted. Um, there was a tour group of like 30 people though, so keep that in mind. If there was ever going to be a ghostly experience, I don't think it would happen in a group that big. Just my thoughts. I don't know. Um, so I don't really have a favorite on that note. Uh, TF We Doing asked me when a new game comes out or is advertised, what draws you to it or away from it? To it would be. I like stuff that's original, um, perhaps kind of indie stuff that is just, you know, it's trying some different formula or has characters that are interesting. Um, I'm rambling. <laughs> um, what do you like seeing in ads or teasers for new games that makes you want to get it? So this is part two of, of their question. Um, I would say um, something that doesn't reveal the entire plot in 15 seconds. There are actually trailers, maybe maybe this is more for movies, that they kind of reveal like key points that like, oops, that just, just spoiled the entire thing. Um, so something that's not spoilery, something that's not overhyped. Because the one thing I found is is games where the trailer hypes too much. I come in expecting certain things and I'm like, what the hell is this? So no, um, nothing with too much hype. Something that just gives you enough detail to keep you interested. Um, Bobson Dugnut asked me, what is your ideal vacation? Um, something where I'm not stuck in my head. <laughs> as much as I love my family back in the Philippines, I uh, found that last time I was there, I was I spent all my time thinking because nobody there would speak English even though they could like I would have to talk to them to get them to speak to me and that just felt like a drag so I spent a lot of time thinking like okay when I get back to Canada I'm gonna do this that the other thing um it's basically something that doesn't doesn't make me think too much because then I'm not vacationing at all I like tropical locations as well um I, I really do because it's different and as for my I this is a little, I'm not introducing my questions very well. What's your favorite movie? Um, I honestly don't know. If you'd asked me, like, when I was 15, I would have said The Matrix. But <laughs> thinking back to it, it's not really that good. It's okay. As for now, I honestly don't know. I just find there's so many movies that come out and I don't even watch most of them. So that was a shitty answer. Moving on. Um, Classic Ninja asks, socks and sandals? Hell no, get the F out of here with that. <laughs> Honestly, that's just blech. Um, worst food you've ever tasted? Anything with cilantro in it. I freaking hate cilantro. There's actually a genetic basis for this, and I'm one of those people who find that it tastes like soap. If I even smell it in soup, I'm just like, blech. like I can't, <laughs> I can't do it. It's disgusting, and it makes me want to barf. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, we have a few questions from Lycan. Lycan, one of my best buddies. Um, what is that mysterious ticking noise? I don't know. It might be coming from the box behind me. Run! Um, what was the tweet that was eaten by Twitter? I don't know. Um, any, any tweet that someone tries to send that doesn't go through. I've actually had that happen multiple times on the Twitter app. Um, so have a few of my friends. It's kind of weird. You go to send it, it just ke keeps saying sending tweet and then it just never sends. Don't know. Um, Twitter's evil, I guess. Just like Facebook, but in a different way. Um, and that is it for all of my questions. So I, uh, I guess that's it for this video. I, I hope that I will look at this footage later and not think that it's crap and I'm leaving that in the video just because I, that did happen and this is a real thing that happens to vloggers you look at it and you're like oh my god this is terrible um, and you get self-conscious like you know well, what's that thing on my face um oh wait it's my nose no, I'm just kidding <laughs> but seriously it's it's tough it's different from streaming because you you have to look at it later whereas when you're streaming it's just like you just go you just talk you just keep moving everything's gonna be fine um it's an interaction it's not a performance whereas this feels very very much like a performance i'm a terrible performer right right 
anyways um thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing um please please stay subscribed come back for more of my videos in the future more of my derpy weird face and, and my hats um I've, I've become very into hats lately <laughs> and if you've made it this far into the video thank you um if you were one of my original 50 100 whatever number of subscribers um doesn't matter when you came into the picture uh, thank you so much for everything and I hope that you enjoyed this.